We are recording. Well, welcome. Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for February 28, 2019. I'm Coach, uh, uh, sorry, I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Jay. And we're going to show you uh, that there is opportunities today to make some money. And how was today, Coach Jay? It was, you know, it was, uh, there were some good moments, but overall it was not really a trending day. The system right here does a fantastic job of telling us what's going on. And right here, most trades lack follow through. And I would say this day had it in spades. There was some definitely some movement in the market, but from a trending perspective, you know, one or two candle trades for the most part throughout the day, aside from a, a few moments, it was uh, one or two candles and then a little bit of a dog fight and then maybe one, a little, one or two candles in that direction, and maybe a dog fight again. So those days we need to kind of look at it with a uh, um, really strict adherence to our rules and really watch out for the head fakes. There's a lot of head fakes out there in the stock market trying to get people to bite at certain moments. And so we need to be on our toes and, and be watchful of that, especially on dates where they lack follow through. The first trade of the day, we're gonna to stick to the morning. So overall, pretty flat day, very flat in the afternoon, not much movement at all. There is this little bit of a green trend in the morning and a, a red trend at the 10 o'clock hour, the first half of the 10 o'clock hour, much like the previous day. On Amazon, Amazon had a pretty good moment overall in the day. Here we'll move to 940. If I can grab it. And Amazon's on a nice breakout of the risk zone. Nice big candles. They got the Fantastic Four. Volume isn't really showing up. Overall, it's a pretty low volume day. When there's low volume, we wanna be cautious because there's can be uh, more influence by, you know, single people's, uh, uh, a single person's decision or a company's decision about a particular stock. And here we go, I'd get out right here on this volume spike. My kind of end goal or target would have been uh, 1650 or the support line, somewhere up in here. But with the way the day's been and with where the volume is at overall in the day on a very low volume start, according to the basket, any sort of volume, I'm gonna go ahead and, and exit at that point with 14%. I don't want to risk trying to get more or get greedy. It's always good to know your exit plan or where you're gonna kinda of head to or what your expectations are of the stock, but be willing to be flexible on getting out earlier if um, signs start to show up. So we'll close out at 14% on Amazon. For me on a day like today, I'm shutting the computer and moving on. I don't want to add any more risk by having another exposure, but if for some reason you missed Amazon and maybe you uh, got to the market a little bit late, there's another opportunity in the other direction. This is at 956. We're getting close to a time window, times are significant. And so overall, very low volume day. Lowe's is showing some good volume at the moment. So we wanna capitalize on that. So we'll buy a put. And move forward. Heading right for the previous low and the volume spike and some other support going on. 
In addition, it had broke out of the 100%. So I want to show that real quick on the daily range. You can see that right here. It says 100% on a breakout. So it's going to move a little bit, a little bit further. And it reaches the previous low. Other investors, stock traders, are looking at those previous lows. And that guides some of their decision making. So from an option standpoint, we need to be aware of some of those uh, um, support and resistance lines that the stock traders look at because that impacts us as far as the overall movement of the stock. On a 20%, done. Easy day. <laughs> Overall, on a, on a day that, you know, really didn't amount to much, there was some stuff here and there. We found two solid trades on a very low volume day with a strong green start. A Amazon in two minutes, 14%, and Lowe's in two minutes, 20%. Take the money and run, folks, and enjoy your family and other projects that you like to do. And this can be accomplished through our system with very clear indicators to which direction the stock is going, along with our coaching to develop a trading strategy that works specifically for you and what, what you are comfortable with, what you like to see in the market, and make it specifically for your uh, situation. job as usual. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We've got uh, access in the seeing in So that concludes and kind of wraps up our February 28th trades. For two, February 28th, 2019 with Trader Genius. Thanks, everyone.